follow me. Follow me. Remember that video I made recently about tracking cameras? Sure you do. Well, the camera company that stood out the most in that video was Obsbot. And the top of the line camera that they had at the time was the Obsbot tail. And that was already two years old. They stopped making it because of a chip shortage. And I was really unhappy about that. But then I got all excited when I heard they were making a new one. So I immediately contacted the company. I said, send me some test models so I can play with them. And I pulled some strings and it worked. And I, they sent me a couple and uh, this is what it looks like. They're calling it the Obsbot Tail Air. It's smaller, it's lighter, and it has more features. And it's totally self-contained. It's battery powered, it has a built-in SD card. I mean, uh, it has an SD slot that you can put record onto. You don't need any wires, no Wi-Fi, no laptop, no cell phone. Now, you can use a cell phone for an app to run it, but you don't need to. You can hold up the uh, hello symbol and it stops tracking you. So now I can walk away and the camera is just there by itself. But then when I come back and I go like this, it's telling the camera to start tracking me again. So now I can start walking and it tracks me. How attractive is that? <laughs> yeah. And uh, there's another signal. If you do the OK signal, it'll stop and start recording. If you do the L symbol, it'll zoom in and zoom out. Uh, it has a bigger uh, sensor. It has a 1 over 1 8 sensor, so it's a bigger sensor. I'm shooting 4K 30 right now. 1 8 thousandth of a second shutter speed, so that's really good. I can shoot HDR, USB out, HDMI out, so you can hook it up to a Ninja, <clears throat> Shogun, whatever, external recording. It has a mic jack, so you can plug in an external microphone. What else? I mean, it's got everything you'd ever want. It has, it, it, you can adjust it just like a camera. You can adjust the f-stop, the app. You can put it on aperture priority. You can hook it up to a laptop for, you know, streaming, obviously, via USB and things like that. Uh, what else? Uh, you can, it comes with a remote. You see, you can do manual gimbal control. I just want to see how it tracks. That's really the main thing I got this thing for is so I can, because the camera's not always around to move, to work the camera. There's times where I'm alone and I need to film myself and I'm sure you had the same situation where you just want to film yourself and there's nobody around. But you want the camera to follow you. You want to be free to move. Well, that's what this camera is good for. That's what it does. And unlike the first one, which costs $1,000, even on eBay used, this one I hear is going to cost around $400 or something like that. So that's less than half the cost. And that's within affordable price range of most people. The sensor has bigger pixels, so it's better in low light. Who would have thought about sticking one of these things on a selfie stick and walking around with it? <laughs> well, I did. What, I'm surprised this thing actually has stabilization. It's wobbling around on the end of the stick there. And uh, I don't know why it has stabilization because it's meant to be stuck on a stand or on your desk or something. But uh, look at this. It's got stabilization and I'm walking around with it. It's not bad as a vlogging camera. And the other cool thing is like no matter what I do, I don't have to worry. I don't have to look at it or be worried about it like not seeing my face because it's got face tracking and the pan tilt zoom so no matter what I do this thing will always be looking at me so uh, this is really low light I'm in a bathroom and uh, how's it look? how do I look in a bathroom? <laughs> pretty cool huh? alright so uh, I just walk around with this thing it's a vlogging camera. It's got AI for tracking. So it'll track you really good. Yeah. And it tracks 360 degrees. I mean, I can go all the way around, which is really good. What else? Oh, if you track it, it has human tracking animal tracking, object tracking, and you can, if there's more than one person, you can tell it to follow this person, even though there's another person, you can walk behind and around that other person. PTZ stands for pan, tilt, zoom, which means it doesn't just pan, but it also tilts. So it goes down, and it goes up, Hey there. <laughs> and it's small. It's uh, 
Pretty lightweight, has a quarter 20 thread on the bottom so you can put it on a, a stand like I did. Has an HDMI out so you can hook it up to your Ninja. Let me play with the settings. You can have different uh, levels of zoom. Like right now it's on pano, which is panoramic because it's pretty wide. But there's a thing called close up. Let me push on that. It goes closer. So now we can walk around, but it just cropped in closer to you. Half body. All right, this is half body. So now, okay, you see how I'm kind of low in the shot here? What if I want to rearrange that? I just move the lines there, I push OK. And now I am more uh, up and down correctly. Again, this is 4K30. It does 1080-60, which is really good. 1080-60 is fun. Uh, there's all kinds of settings on here. You can just mess with this thing all day. It's not Ozbot, it's Obsbot. There's two Bs. And this is the tail air. I think they have it on, uh, what do you call it? Uh, they were talking about putting it on Kickstarter. I don't know why these big companies who have all this money have to go on Kickstarter to have people pitch in to help make it. <sighs> well, it's a new thing. It's a new world. Anyway, uh, so anyway, I think this is cool because I like things that follow you. Follow me, follow me. Follow me. It's supposed to be AI, so it should be pretty smart. Uh, yeah. Okay. Obsbot tail air. Coming soon to a theater near you. See you next week. Bye.